Okay. Hi, everybody. This is uh, Michael Branson Smith. Um, I hope my uh, York College students, some of you are watching, at least uh, I think Trudy Ann's watching. She mentioned she's on Twitter, so Trudy Ann, I hope you're out there. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about um, how progress in the class is going so far uh, in the first four days of. Uh, CT 101 DS 106, which is CT 101 is the course, uh, registered course for students at uh, York College in CUNY in New York City. Uh, we're actually in Queens. And um, we started the day, we have a face, it's, we, we, we run this as a hybrid class, so that's why I'm doing, one of the reasons I'm doing the video broadcasts is uh, so students can see uh, what's going on, see me uh, between the regular face-to-face, -face, which is only on Mondays, which really sucks because even though we had our first class this past Monday, I won't see students again for face to face for two weeks um, because Monday's next Monday's Labor Day. So what was really cool is we got started um, with a, is it a uh, kind of a, a blitz assignment. I really loved the blitz assignments last year and um, I decided to, it was, I loved them because it got people doing stuff right away and I could see really quickly uh, people struggling with certain kinds of things and um, what I loved to see was um, I thought we'd do this assignment with shadow puppets and we'd get students to take photographs right away, have them deal with creating a couple accounts because they had to uh, put it up on Flickr and tag it with uh, DS106 shadow puppet and um, also tweet their favorite fo photo. And uh, not only was uh, it, it gives people some ideas about aggregation as well as um, as well as start to be creative. And, and there were some really great ones. This is uh, Meinier's uh, heart and also his uh, his uh, basically Kali uh, character, which I think is perfect. I was uh, uh, doing a little wiki search on Kali and, and I think it's awesome since uh, Kali uh, uh, is the Hindu uh, goddess associated with uh, um, empowerment, and um, but I love that it means black, uh, time, death, lord of death. So that that fits, I think. Um, so you can see, you know, we had a pretty good stream, and um, there were there were definitely uh, people playing along, not only from um, uh, the class, but there were people jumping in, like Andrew Forgave, and so it's really nice to see. Uh, the power of like you put a you put out a, a tweet about a particular um, assignment and it starts to and this is uh, Yacy from York um, doing rocking out which is pretty great um, to see that we had people from outside and this was um, let's see Alan who basically made this happen he he started the uh, he he. He's the instructor down at the University of Mary Washington that's leading uh, one of the sections there along with Martha Burtis. You guys rock for still building great stuff so we can use it. So that was a great start. And you can see that this is still the, the all the images that were tagged. I actually really loved uh, Leslie's um, a rabbit, though I have to say, I think it looks a little bit more like a deer. Um, so that's good. And it was a good start. And on to the uh, tougher stuff, which is getting into making your first, you're making your blog, all right? And right now, um, I've seen uh, three students' blogs up, two that are feeding in uh, with, a new, with a post into the DS106 uh, website. I created here um, this link at the top of the course calendar that you can see that allows you to see the York feed on DS106. So look here and you'll see, oops, no, that's an update, sorry, let's refresh this. Ah, bummer. My mistake. Where is that feed? This is the feed of York students right here. All right. So you can see that we have two students. 
Gaffar, who's doing a really great job. Uh, he got his first post up and followed through with um, talking about Gardner Campbell's no digital faceless uh, and linking to all of his uh, accounts, well, not quite only, has a, he's made Twitter and uh, Flickr, not yet YouTube and SoundCloud, but he also filled out his About Me page. And right now he's using, and it's very simple, but uh, one of the things I was going to show you guys um, is, you know, you might as well start uh, thinking about how you can embed, so we're going to go to my blog, images, so you're not stuck just showing um, a post. So there's two things. So you can you when we go to make a new post, I'm gonna add make a new post, and I want you to realize there's two things you can do. So this is my uh, new. This is gonna be like the week one summary. I'm gonna start working on this post and end up put, uh, putting it up, showcasing York College. So I'm making this. So there's two things to insert images. That you can you can do it via um, from your computer and I can go and select a file and I'm going to select um, an image that I was working on uh, the other night this is a re re remade image and this is a James Cagney from White Heat um, and this is a story that I'm going to get to in a minute um, What's important is if, it, if it's an animated GIF, which we're going to be talking about next week, uh, you got to make sure it's a full, uh, whoops, it's, uh, you insert it full size, which you can't see that. Wait, let me raise this up. Insert it uh, full size, all right? If you don't insert into post full size, it's not going to animate on the page, all right? Uh, the other thing you can do really simply is if you want to in, uh, embed like a YouTube vid video like uh, Gardner Campbell's uh, No Digital Faceless, go to, here's the YouTube video opening, but what you want to do is... This you, afternoon, I have the uh, distinct okay. pleasure... Um, you want to use, click on this share link right here, and then copy this URL, all right? And you put it into the paste. You put it, and all you have to do is paste the URL into the post. And when I preview this, you'll see that it turns that YouTube URL into the full video. And it automatically scales it to whatever theme you're using, all right? So the video is in there as well as my uh, animated GIF. So those are things that you're going to start to be moving towards is um, I need to really encourage you to get out there and keep working on your sites um, and get them up and feed that first post all right where you you make sure that you um, let's see You make sure that you're doing all these things, which is responding to this video, um, the, the digital faceless video, embedding links to your accounts, um, creating an about me page. So you're replacing that sample page with an about me page and also reflect on your first week. How you doing? I want to know. So let me know. All right. So keep at it. Now, you can also do, what's nice to see is uh, um, Trudy Ann has jumped ahead. She hasn't put in her, uh, her post yet, but she's jumping ahead and she's uh, making her space her own. And this is pretty odd. It's awesome. Her site is sports in a red bottom. And she's picked a new theme. She's put a custom background. And she's added uh, these red shoes surrounding the Yankees. But we still got that sample page, and we need to we need to fix that, right? We need to uh, we need to uh, uh, get in that first post as well. All right, so Trudian, you're doing awesome. Just keep at it. All right, very impressed. You're you're playing along wonderfully. 
So those are the kind of things that we're going to start doing. That what Trudy Ann started here is is customizing the look of her site, so it's it's her domain, and I encourage you to start doing that as well if you want to do that. But one of the things I also wanted to talk about is I've I had a bit of a run in with the this is this is the aside. So you know we've when you when you take the opportunity to read Gardner, I'm gonna flip back to me so you can see me. Um, you'll find a lot of great stuff. Uh, and I'm gonna read one of the things that I love about his description of like people willing to uh, narrate in the open the notion of thinking out loud and, and I think that's a pretty 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 amazing thing. But there's a lot of people that don't really agree with that and particularly I deal with um, a lot of faculty working in as an ed tech person here at York. And um, you know, a particular journalism uh, professor and I have had a few email conversations about this idea, and, and journalists apparently, or this particular one, doesn't think it makes a whole mo whole lot of sense. Uh, his networks are closed, and that's cool. I get it. I mean, that's trusted sources and things like that. He, he know, he was a long time uh, crime beat writer. Uh, no, now now working as a professor here at York, and. Uh, what was really problematic, though, is that in the end, he he thought this idea of encouraging my students to, in his mind, rip off other other uh, people's work to create other things, um, such as this, which was uh, an animated GIF I made up quite some time ago of the J James Cagney, as I was describing, in White Heat, and. Um, you know, when a little went a little idea off off the off the rails, and um, he went on to describe, and I'm going to read from his uh, this his, a quote from it. Is I get the whole idea of telling students get out there, do uh, uh, do something, create something, and then maybe it will be rewarding. But ripping off everyone who laid the tracks for you, what message does that convey down the line? Doesn't matter um, what you do, steal from anybody and everybody, and guess what? When you're stolen from, shut the F up and stay broke ass and poor. You have no rights under the US Constitution because you broke the laws first. So apparently using, uh, uh, you know, and so it he, he was very uh, kind of a, a punishing thing, and I, I kind of equate it to this one now. I was just getting, he was railing me pretty pretty badly, and, and I admit he's he's much better writer than I am. <laughs> And uh, but I can make an animated GIF, but apparently that's that's wrong. So I, I felt like I was just uh, kind of crashing, and um, it's something I have to think about. I mean, he he's he's continuing on now. He's like, you, you know, I prefer to encourage students to be original. Seek out colleagues who are making art, sounds, and visions, and collaborate, not ripping off old geezers who came before them. And you know. Um, I definitely have a problem with that. I think that things that are original um, are often remakes or, or built from other things before it. So, but it, it went even further in that he really has a problem with, with people that even create these tools to make it easy uh, uh, to steal images of James Cagney and then email it to him. And I think he was extremely upset that offended that he was forced to watch this and so I might even just start spamming him with animated gifs like this because I just want to have fun I can't help myself I mean that's the best part right and um, and uh, and feel a little better about it so I don't know I, I have to keep working on better ways of describing the values of, of, of remaking and and this is the last one that I'm going to show and, and finish this uh, conversation about is um, in another talk by Gardner that I, I actually got to see at Brute College. He was talking about uh, general education and, and the value of, of it being one in which it's preparing its students for unknown, an unknown future where basically as you're moving high speed, you're able to lay down spare track. And this is uh, from Wallace and Gromit, and uh, he showed an image of it, and I couldn't help it. I had to, I had to turn that into gift. Where this idea of you, you're ready to keep going um, forward, even though life's changing, and but you've got some spare track. And so, I know I'm not. I need to find more spare track in my ability to describe the values of of creating 
or remixing and recreating and you know yeah I, oh gosh I'm, I'm stealing from the creators of of Wallace and Gromit to illustrate a point um, so I know that for sure that that he, he's upset about that and it makes him cringe um, and I'm definitely going to hell but I'm really having fun and I feel like I'm slowly but surely figuring out how to lay out more spare track. So thanks everyone. I'm gonna keep keeping keep on keeping on, you know, make, making more gifts and and figuring out how to better convince people of uh, the values of teaching out in the open, thinking out loud, even though I think it's problematic because I'm you know those the, those academics are supposed to know everything and and, and be always right. Um, and uh, uh, enjoy working with my students and putting themselves out there and taking the risk to, to, to screw up and learn in the same time. So sadly, I won't see you for another week and a half, but I'm going to probably make a video, uh, get out there uh, early next week, maybe even on Labor Day. This video is going to be archived and put up. And definitely a week from today, I'll try to show more progress and uh, show you some more interesting stuff. All right. Bye, everybody.